Okay, we're underneath my 2012, looking at the 68 RFE automatic transmission. I just did the first service on this. It has 36,000 miles on it. I replaced the spin-on filter, as well as swapping out the plastic coupler that's on it from factory with a, a metal coupler. I swapped out the sump filter, as well as the seal that goes up into the, the neck there. Let me get a better light so you guys can see it. Hopefully that picks it up there. I had that proper, properly seated in there. I used a reversed 22 millimeter socket head. And again, these, these filters are from Mopar directly, I should say. And while I was in here, I decided to put one of these filter clamps on. I went to the XDP version. And over here, you can see there are two bolts that actually mount the valve body to the case so they supplied you with two bolts for that to compensate for the extra thickness I found that those two bolts had you know not the the best style bolts so I actually swapped them in with these these better uh, hex bolts here I'll send a link to you I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about there but I found that these bolts that I have here installed and torqued to spec could actually handle the spec that the, the two bolts call for. Other than that, I plan on using the 2019 Plus transmission gasket with the stock pan for this and buttoning, buttoning it all up and filling it with ATF Plus 4. So hopefully this helps somebody out, or just like a brief overview of what it looks like in here, what things to consider. Now, this is this is tight. I torqued this to about 8 foot-pounds. Now I know the one that came with the package from factory comes with, you know, the, the plastic coupler, and they say to torque it to 7 foot-pounds. But like I said, I swapped that plastic out for a metal one, so... I'd imagine that the, the torque spec was with relation to that plastic coupler, so I believe the metal one could just handle, you know, one more foot-pound more than the, the factory plastic. So this is eight foot-pounds. That's all this can be. I checked it manually with a, a wrench as well. And, you know, this torx is tight. That's up in the, the neck. And this clamp is not hitting this. I will prove that. Not hitting the filter I'll just slide this underneath so there's a little bit of clearance you don't have to worry about anything rubbing as you're driving to rub through the filter and as you can see this is moving this pretty hard and it's not budging one bit so everything's nice and tight in here And here is the OEM pan all cleaned up. When I cleaned it, the magnet wasn't too bad. Very, you know, normal material on it and whatnot. But I have the edge all cleaned up. Got all the factory RTV off. And here is the 2019 Plus Ram 68 RFE gasket. It's a, it's metal, but it's rubber coated. Try to see. See the ribs there? This this is the edge. This this side hits the case and this side goes against the pan. See this style here? This these grooves match up with these grooves in the pan. And it'll sit on just like this. Just just like this. left again two in the back two in the front and they used that rubber coated hammer and just tapped on the sides until it uh, broke loose and what I've been doing now is I have all but two bolts there's only one in the back now and one in the front I'm just loosening a little bit by little bit and that's tilting the pan and I'm just catching everything as is very important to have drip pan below the catch can very important. And plastic. 
All right, I have the pan all buttoned up, fluids in it. I've already went on numerous test drives and we had zero leakage. Absolutely no fluid whatsoever, seeped out, weeped out, whatever have you, nothing. It is bone dry. So the 2019 plus 68 RFE gasket from Mopar will in fact work on these older model 68 RFEs, which I expected the whole case the entire time because well, it's the same transmission, but it's one of those things you just don't know for sure and you don't really want to test that yourself only to find it's not going to you know seal properly and then leak. And a lot of people are going to be wondering why, for the record, those that up there, that's all, that's from servicing it, but you can ignore those. The bottom of the pan, everything's dry as you can see. A lot of people are going to be wondering why I didn't go with any aftermarket deep pan that has a drain plug. I totally understand. I reviewed and considered that, uh, you know, some brands, but at the end of the day, I know a lot of people with well over half a million miles on their 6.7s still running the stock pan. Heck, some of them still have the original transmission in them with that many miles, and they've been running the stock pan throughout all those miles, and it does its does the job and we don't have to worry about anything sort of you know seeping out from a drain plug but I do understand from a convenience factor how convenient those drain plugs can be so again I tried to this is my first service at 36,000 miles I'll probably be doing this again maybe close to 70,000 miles so I'll, I'll deal with the the red bath of shame trying to take the uh, the pan off but I think it'll be easier this time with the gasket instead of the RTV so when reinstalling the pan I first put in the rear bolts because I noticed the transmission has a natural slope to it just how the truck sits and just really how the the transmission is bolted up to the back of the engine I first put those bolts in because I I noticed that the fluid was working its way towards the rear of the pan and I was concerned that once the oil got between the gasket and the pan itself that the mating surface and whatnot it would break the overall seal so I first focused on those put those up I hand tightened them then I positioned the rest of the yeah, gasket and pan to the, the remaining holes put those in then I followed this diagram shown here as a cross pattern torque sequence and instead of torquing them to the factory 105 inch pounds I installed them at 95 inch pounds I have heard people stripping them out when reusing um, you know the, the factory pan and whatnot but I if I were to guess this is because they do not clean the bolts and they still have RTV on them and you're threading them into cast aluminum which is relatively soft metal so it's to be expected before I installed mine I cleaned them with the designated die set that I have for this size bolt and like I said 95 inch pounds perfect seal they're they're tight there's no leaks whatsoever Okay, one of the last things I did during this servicing was modifying the dipstick now we're looking at the the factory one this is what I use to get the proper flu level and whatnot because uh, it's very convenient with the holes and whatnot my I have another one with a, a dipstick that locks there's I have a separate video talking about it but that's the one I modified I'm just showing this one for demonstration purposes but I read about cases where the dipstick tip wears the inside of the transmission pan out and over so many miles it'll actually you know start going through and start leaking oil from that so I took a very small tip off just above like my fingernail on the other one and that should give it enough space and it's not gonna cause any sort of issue for you trying to measure properly measure how much fluid you should be in the uh, the transmission so you guys should Take a look into that. Again, it, not many cases out there, but it has happened.